3 John, verse 4. John says, I have no greater joy than to see my children walking in the truth. Hope you have a passion for the truth as a parent and you communicate God's truth, his word. You help your child soak up the truth. And then there's lots of debriefing. There's lots of conversations. So if your child is reading something, learning something at school, learns something at church, watches something on the television, you can talk about what is true, what is not true. They might have exposure to a lot of different things. Uh, recently, our children had some exposure to conversation about hypnotism. Well, we unpacked that and we talked about what that really means and we talked about, you know, instead turning to the Lord. It, it could be all sorts of topics that come up, but continue to have a passion for the truth and share with children. Uh, the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth and there's so many lies in our culture. And so protect your child and then continue to walk with them so that they speak truth. They have friends who speak truth. And if they start to tell lies, uh, you know, don't make any room for lies in your own life. But then also, when they start to fib, uh, walk them through why they lied and what were they afraid of and what was their motivation and then what was the real truth and then affirm them. Love rejoices with the truth. Have a passion for the truth. Live out the truth. Jesus is the truth. And your kids will pick that up and you'll have great joy as they walk in truth.